I'm Xavier, and I'm going to walk you through how to play the Dynamo's card game. So first, you take the disaster cards, smash, and stock. There are two of them each. You remove them from the main deck. Then, you take the main deck. You shuffle the main deck. This is a sample game with four players. The cards are going to be face up in the hands, so you can see how the game is played. Everyone gets five cards. Then, once it's all dealt, you take the smash and stop cards and put them randomly back into the main deck. Player one draws a card. Is the Tyrannosaurus Rex. This is good because in order to win, they need a penguin and a smush card. Next, they can play their action cards. Player one plays a swipe card. He says, does anyone have an Apatosaurus? Player two has two, and he must give one, or she must give one. The Apatosaurus is given to player one, and the swipe card is goes to the discard pile. Then, player one plays a skip card, which skips player two, and makes it player three's turn, and then the skip card goes into the discard pile. Player one has no more action cards. That means he or she has to end their turn. Who has the skip card that player one played, player two is skipped, and player three goes. Player three draws a card, Stegosaurus. If player three had a tiger, he would have won. But he, is a, but he doesn't, so he uses a swipe card and asks if anyone has a tiger. No one does, his swipe card is useless, and his turn ends, and it goes to player four. Player four draws a card, a swipe card. Player three, I mean four, sorry, says, does anyone have a Triceratops? And because player three has a Triceratops, it must be given a player four, and the swipe card goes into the discard pile. Player four calls dibs on Triceratops, which means player four must make Triceratops, but None of the other three players can make Triceratops. Player four has a stop card, undoing the dibs. He can't, he or she can either later in the game undo someone else's dibs or undo their own. Back to player one. Player one draws, it is a penguin. Player one has no action cards, but can call dibs on Penguinosaurus Rex. Player one calls dibs on Penguinosaurus Rex. His turn is over. Player two's turn. Player two draws a steel card. This is good. He or she discards it and uses it to steal from player four. It randomly steals a card, the hair. The turn is over for player two and goes to player three. Player three draws a snack card, which allows him to draw two cards. He uses it. He draws two cards, a giraffe and a penguin. Now, he's, he has two ways of winning, with an Apatosaurus or with a Tiger. Because player three has two options, he does not call dibs. Because if he draws a card and can win one way, but has dibs on the other, he has to wait for someone to stop his dibs. Player four's turn. Oh no, it's a smash card, which is a disaster. All five of their cards go back in the deck, including the dibs. Player four must draw five more cards. Even though player four has an action card, the turn is over because of the smash card. Player one draws, it is a smush card. Player one has dibs on Penguinosaurus Rex, a Tyrannosaurus Rex card, and a Penguin card, which means player one has won the game. And that's how you play the Dynamo's card game. Learn more at Dynamo's.com.